Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another lip swatch video. I know I recently just did one, but the other day I picked up the L'Oreal Color Riche palettes and I got the nude one and the red one. So I'm going to swatch them today for you guys. So each palette contains six different colors. So there's the red one and that's the nude one. So they contain different colors. So I'm going to swatch each colour for you and I also might mix colours together, we'll see how it goes. Each one comes with a lip pencil thing to apply them, so we'll see how that goes because this is what they look like when they open, so that's what they look like. So it comes with a little lip pencil on the bottom. I've never used these before, um, so this is going to be like my first impression as well. So that's the nude palette. And this is the red palette. So yeah, you can see beautiful colours. Hold them against each other. Lovely colours. So I'm going to start with the nude palette first. And I'm going to work from the top to the bottom. They don't have names, these colours. So I'm just going to go from the top to the bottom, okay? So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so after swatching these 
lip products. This is my first impression. I've never worn these before. After the first palette, which was the nude palette, I was a bit like, hmm, these aren't that pigmented because some of the ones in the nude palette really didn't give off much pigmentation at all. Like the first few colours I wasn't that impressed with to be honest. As it got darker I was getting more impressed with the colours. Um, overall I think my favourite colour on this palette was probably this middle one here, the purpley kind of colour one. I did really like that one. It was nice and pigmented. It was a nice colour as well. I did like that one. Um, I found that the little brushes that came with the sets were not very good. I found them hard to use to be honest because they were so short. If they had a longer handle I'd probably be able to use them better. So instead I went in and used my Real Techniques detailer brush and this was much better to use. Out of the red palette, I think that my favourite colour was probably the first one. I think that the first one was probably my favourite colour. It was neon. It was kind of like neon. It was very bright, um, very pretty. I think that this one, this palette was definitely much, much, much more pigmented. The colour payoff on this palette was much more than the nude palette. Also, I found that this one, this palette kind of has stained my lips a little bit. Not that that's a problem. I don't mind that, but... You can tell that it's much more pigmented if it's going to stain your lips, you know what I mean? So, overall, I'm going to rate the palettes. So, I think that the first palette I would give probably a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. And this one I would give an 8 out of 10, just because it's much more pigmented. That's the only reason that I would give it more. Um, I think that the nude palette is a lot more wearable. The colours in the nude palette are more neutral easier to wear on a day-to-day -day basis like look at these they're easy to wear on a day-to-day -day basis whereas the red palette is a little bit more difficult to wear unless you're going out to a party or something so I'd probably wear the nude palette more even though the red colors are much more pigmented I think that I prefer the nude palette to the red palette even though it's not as pigmented but just because it is more wearable but yeah, so basically, these are, I think they they were 11 99 but now they're down to 9 99 I think. I bought them in Boots. And it was like 3 for 2 on L'Oreal. So I got these two and I got the eyeshadow palette. So I got one free. I do like them. At the end of the day, I do like these palettes. I think it's a nice idea. Um, the packaging is gorgeous. I mean, look at this gold packaging. It really does look nice on the mirror and everything. But would I say to buy these? Yes. Definitely, I would go and say to buy these. It's hard to say which one I would say to go and buy unless you're going to buy two. Um, for people who like darker lips, this one. For people who like a more wearable, everyday, subtle kind of lips, then this one is probably your go-to guy. So, I don't know, I'm definitely going to wear both. Definitely going to mix around with them a bit more, play around, see what I can get, see what colours I can make. So yeah, that was my swatches and my first impressions of the L'Oreal Color Riche LA palettes for your lips. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, can you please give it a big thumbs up down below. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not already so that you can see my next video. You can leave me a comment to say which was your favorite colors, which palette you prefer, if you have the palettes, which one have you got, stuff like that, leave me some comments. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.